Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel for today's tarot card reading all about why do they love you? Your specific person in mind. So I love doing little messages like this from time to time because like I always say, we could all use a pick me up now and then. And sometimes it's kind of hard to just ask somebody this question, you know, why do you love me? Because you may just feel like a little needy by doing that. So this is a way to break the ice for you and to get the feel that you may be looking for but not really know how to ask for right now. So without further ado, if you need to know how to get yourself into a receptive mode, I have a video linked down below as always about how to pick a card. So make sure you check that out if needed. But once you're in a receptive mode, we have our group one, group two, group three. Timestamps will be provided below as always. I'll see you at your time. Hello group one, let's get started with your tarot card reading all about why your person in mind loves you. So let's dive into it. We have true love, the second house, Pluto, ace of wands, mother of swords in reverse, and the son of cups. So getting started with your oracle card, I feel like you guys have a very pure essence to you. With true love and just the message on the card, I feel like you guys have a really receptive energy to you, to like the divine, unconditional love kind of energies. There's something about you guys that is really open to, I think, nurturing people in a way that they need to be nurtured rather than the way that you think they need to be nurtured, if that makes sense. Um, you guys don't necessarily project that much on other people. And for whatever reason, I feel like this person really enjoys that about you. They love that about you because there's a purity to your love that I think this person hasn't really ever experienced. Um, with the second house here, I feel like you guys, and Pluto, honestly, you guys have transformed this person's uh, self-value in the way that they see themselves of being worldly. And I think it's because of this pure love that you guys bring out, you know, from your own soul. I think with this, the romantic stirrings of your heart have repelled the universe to deliver great love to you. I feel like because you are this love, you come from such a pure loving place, you know, it like, it is contagious, basically. It gravitates towards other people and almost opens up their soul to um, accept this love. And to do that, you know, they have to love themselves the way that you love them too. And I feel like Ace of Wands here, you provide people with a, like a spark within them, you know, that reminds them, like I said, of their own purity and of their own infinite potential, really. With true love, this gives me the energy very much of oneness and of merging and of like the great mother, too. So being just overall welcoming without any conditions, like I said earlier, um, is a big quality about you that draws this person in, I think. Because, you know, with Pluto here, this person may feel like they aren't the best like you know they may be like the devil and you're the angel in their eyes and you can help them um, figure themselves out and see that they're not so devilish after all maybe they're not as bad as they thought they were you know and that's kind of um i think a humbling aspect that you offer to people that it's it's kind of difficult i think for people to access this on their own you know um because there's just so many people, like I said, that project onto each other. Mother of Swords here in reverse. This to me just shows that this person has felt like they've, like I said, been projected on a lot of the time, but also not really given the proper nurturing, I feel like. Because Mother of Swords is considered like the ice queen, but with it being in reverse, this is like the negative qualities of that that just really seem to um, be off-putting, I feel like. And this person feels like, you know, you don't, you don't have that kind of thing. You actually heal that kind of thing within them with the Son of Cups here. This is bringing healing energy. Um, and like I said, bringing that spark back. You can see like this is a pretty pretty dull card but you have like little light popping out of that cup and that's like this inner wisdom um and honestly it's a very intuitive wisdom you know it's like more so just kind of knowing how to nurture people um with without conditions like I said that really seems to draw this person to you they love you a lot for this because like I said it's just a very unique love to experience that this person probably just hasn't really experienced before. I think this person also likes the way you handle yourself in the material world, in this physical world, the way that you are able to manage things and kind of collect things that are worth 
value to you and not even just like tangible things but information you know people insights like you just you know what to take out of life and it's almost like you always know how to get the better hand of things and it's almost I think more so your mindset that is what gathers this goodness to you you know because I think with this mother of swords here like I said you have this ability to kind of um I don't know, see through rationalities into the truth of the matter, which is like this pure love essence thing, you know, and when you can bring that into the equation, like that's true love and light energy that people talk about. And that's, you know, the act of doing that is just kind of being this pure person that really sees people and yourself as being worthy of it. You know, that's kind of where it starts, because if you don't see yourself worthy of it, you're not going to be able to really deliver things, you know. What comes to mind with me is the whole process of sales. Like, I was in sales for a while, and I remember one of the best tips I ever learned about being able to sell something is believing in it yourself. Like, literally seeing the value in something yourself. And I feel like this is what you put off like put out there basically like you see the value in yourself so you're able to sell this love to people because you like you see this love in them you truly do there's a an infinity to the way you are um perceiving people it gets them right into their core and this person really digs that you know they like that about you they love that about you honestly because it, it makes them re-inspired honestly and like I said re-inspires this belief in their own potential and in their own ability to make things what they want it to be because you you like have a great management I feel like too um that was coming up so I want to pull more cards though to see what else this person uh loves about you so son of cups though you guys just have that healing touch so that is a big thing um that keeps coming back out. But the Pluto energy, like, it's very direct. You get right where you need to go. Um, and I think you just kind of, I don't know, you may, like, seem, you're, like, one of the types to seem really, like, go with the flow and, like, you're willing to love everything. And it's like, okay, like, this person's, like, going to get hurt. But I feel like you're you're able to bypass that because you know the truth of the matter is, is like, if you get your love to this without any conditions, you're not going to be hurt by whatever happens. Cause you're like, I gave my best. And then, you know, I hope that person has their best too. Uh, there's like this extreme purity to you that this person really, really loves. Let's see what else we've got though. So we have the clouds. Interesting. And the fox as well as the sun. So you definitely prevail through any kind of challenges in your life. Like you know how to take bad situations, bad feelings, even like literal circumstances, like physical circumstances and move out of them because of your touch, you know, because of that pure touch, like you're untouchable in a way. Um, it's like a fearlessness to you that is just kind of like embedded in your soul, I think, because you are so pure, you know, you haven't been really... Uh, weighed down I think by some of the other struggles in life that other people did and this always just brings you to a place of success with the sun here and you know with the clouds being kind of like a bad omen I always like to read into those and to me this just feels like you guys are able to transform it and not you know be so burdened by it and actually be enlightened by things you know you you don't let the the storm weigh you down if anything you see it as like a rebirth a cleanse and that that comes from that pure mindset that pure energy of just kind of you know just being kind of one with the universe almost um if you're familiar with numerology it's the number zero that keeps coming to mind you know you're that very beginning energy that creative energy that is so pure because it it, it doesn't know anything but it knows everything at the same time it's very it's beautiful energy that's kind of necessary in order to bring people back to themselves and i feel like this person feels like you have the qualities to do that honestly we also have the lion and the rap years. I never know if I'm saying that right. Ah, now this is interesting because there's this weird duality here too that you know how to have a fight, honestly. You know how to put up a fight um, and protect yourself while still being very, like, loving. And just you're in charge at the same time as you're very, like, unconditional, which is a great duality to have, honestly. You know, you may have had to kind of learn how to balance this out. Maybe you still are. But I feel like overall, you guys have a lot of trust in yourself. Um, and again, that that's a purity energy, you know, like that's a very um, fool energy. Also, if you're familiar with tarot, that comes up like it's it's just being able to see 
the potential in things and seeing the pet that seeing that potential as being worthy enough to stand up for it and fight for it. I think you're able to really take the stance that is necessary in all circumstances to get the desired outcome too. That is another thing I think this person loves about you is while like I said you come from this pure place that really knows love and is love, um, you're no bullshit. You're not, you know, you're you have this mother of swords energy um, and while like I said this person uh, likes that you are very nurturing and kind to them. I think at the same time, you still know what's up and you still know when to call the shots, um, you know, when things are getting out of hand. Like, you will still protect yourself no matter what. And I think that's kind of, like, the biggest thing about the, like, purity of your love that really shows um, the unconditionalist is that, like, not only will you serve other people, but you serve yourself when the time is right. And you're always aware of when the time is right, too, is the thing. Um, coming back to the Son of Cups here. But the lion, the fox, even the sun, all of this is really keying into you being able to stand it your own, basically. And really owning your own power and just knowing where deliberately you are putting that energy you know like you have a very deliberate energy um to you i should say i think this person knows that you do a lot to protect your inner child and to honestly let theirs be protected too so it can come out more i feel like like what i was saying there's big protective energy here but it's not cold it's like you are so aware of the kind of love that people need that you understand that there's different kinds of love to give to certain situations too. Um, and like, like I said, like whether it's you giving it to yourself in certain situations or other people or just honestly knowing how to do it all, like knowing like how to distribute your kind of romantic loving purity to everybody in all different ways and all different facets for like the best outcome I feel like and it sounds really complicated but I feel like it's really not like this is just a perspective a place that you've learned to come from that really just helps you out in life and honestly makes this person love you so deeply and so much because you're just you're not somebody to be you're not a force to be reckoned with that's my favorite little phrase for that you are not a force to be reckoned with and you as sure as hell make that known to people but still while like bringing out this side of you that is so capable of changing the world literally with your love and with the ability you have to share that love not only you know with yourself but with the world around you in the perfect doses in the perfect way like this is a very precise energy as much as it is helpful kind strong in its power you have pretty much a little bit of everything but the main thing about you is that you are so pure that that makes you able to use everything you know utilize all the parts of you and like i said transform even the darkest and shittiest of situations honestly into something that works for you and gets you to a place that you're proud of and that you can thrive with and honestly, a place where you can defend. Like, you always know where you're coming from. So that helps you get kind of what you're looking for out of things. And I think that this person really loves that about you because it's like, you're just, you're like a really emperor kind of energy. You know, you take things as you want to take them and you really won't accept anything less than what you know you deserve. And that is awesome because honestly, it's hard to have that duality. Um, when you're so loving and open, you know, like normally it's just that one side where people get kind of like ripped to shreds for being so, so gullible and they get walked all over. But I feel like you guys actually have um, more of a backbone, honestly, and can do things for yourself that ultimately end up helping everybody else in, in the meantime. So, but overall, I will say this person has a big, big love for you. And even when this lion in the sun, like that confirms that big energy to me and Pluto too, like even though Pluto is the smallest planet with it being the farthest away, it has like the biggest effect on everything. So I think that's kind of um, where this person kind of sees your energy, you know, like while you have a very select touch, you know, we don't hear from you too much because you're so off doing your own thing or whatever. But when you come back in, you have a very, you have a reason for what you're doing and it always makes an impact. You always have an influence and it's this purity energy that radiates from you that allows that kind of stuff to happen. So group one, I hope this message resonated with you guys. And if it did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel as I absolutely love giving you guys intuitively channeled messages. But if you would like extra pick a card readings from me or a personal reading, check out my Instagram or Patreon link down below as always. But I'm going to skedaddle. So I hope to see you guys in a later video. Peace.
Hey group two, let's get started with today's pick a card tarot reading all about why do they love you? So diving in, placing that down, we have past life, fifth house, ascendant, ace of swords, four of pentacles, and the world. All right, so first of all, this is definitely a past life connection, obviously, if you believe in that, but if not, um, if you're just kind of into astrology and know about kind of like soul contracts or anything of that matter, this is all that, you know, like this is somebody that you have a long burning connection with through multiple lifetimes and through multiple like energies. Like this energy has developed and is meant to develop, I think, um, throughout your lifetime. And I think this person can feel that too, as much as you do. Um, and the thing about this is like, you know, you never really know how long people are meant to stay or what their purpose really is. But when it comes to this energy, I just feel like it's all about the lesson, you know? And like, I don't know, personally for me, I can always tell when I have one of these soul bonds with people because I'm just so drawn to those people. Like, you know, there's people that you meet in your life and you're just like, Hey, like whatever, like you don't really want to like make any kind of relationship with them, you know, you just stand that acquaintance level. But I feel like this is one of those relationships where it's like, you are just drawn to this person because you feel their energy poking at you almost. And that is like, that's what I'm talking about with like this whole past life connection thing. Is your guys' energies poke at each other and I think that is almost part of why this person likes you is because they have like an astral relationship with you. Um, it's like your souls that come together and this is things that we develop when we have relationships with people you know we are able to talk to them um, more easily and with more accessibility on the astral plane but I feel like you know with these past life kind of connections it's deeper and you, if you know you know you know you'd understand if this resonates for you you get it so I think with you guys this person really feels for you because they feel like you guys light up a little part of each other's souls you know that it's almost like it's like the missing piece is um sometimes how it can feel and with the fifth house here and the ascendant it's like you guys are able to see what it is that brings joy to the other person and what fills up like I said like this other part of them and I don't ever want you guys to think that like you need another person to do that for you but to show that to you is oftentimes I feel like through another person you know that how do you expand your mind at all you have to learn um through another person and even more so with the world here being a lesson learned I feel like this is kind of where this energy has its roots so <laughs> starting this reading off with a informational session sorry guys but I just feel like um why do they love you they love how you bring out the best of them you bring out this childlike inner child version of them that is it's just soulful. It's the best part of them is what it feels like. And um, it brings out just kind of some like things that they hide from themselves. I feel like at the same time with the Ace of Swords, you know, this is like the insight breakthrough. And I feel like you guys always seem to like penetrate each other's, um, you know, psyches in the right position where it's like you can go from being absolutely stuck to being able to move on and do something you know like it's almost like you guys act as catalysts in each other's lives Ooh, I love this a lot yeah because four of um pentacles is like that stuck energy but yeah I mean you guys just you have that ability to really bring things together I think and I think this person loves you because you seem to be at all of their pinnacle moments you know you are a very important person in this uh, person's life the the kind of person that they want around for important things too you know you may not be somebody um that they <laughs> want to invite for like every little party that they have but you know when it's something big you're down for it they want you there and um it's you're <laughs> this makes me think of the great Gatsby. i would just watch this movie recently and it's also like you know uh, Nick Carraway was the only person that got an invitation to Gatsby's party. It's like that kind of energy where it's like, you are the person that I will like specifically choose to, you know, experience these certain things with, you know, and it not, not that the rest of the story really applies to this person and their intentions, but I just feel like it's that sort of thing where this person has very much selected you and 
that's why they love you but it's because their soul has selected you and that's like the cute part about it but because that has happened on like a deeper level I feel like this person is able to have those breakthroughs and see you almost like I said as the catalyst so that is honestly super super cute I really like this reading so I'm gonna pull you guys some more cards to see what else um, is going on with this person's energy and why do they love you so whoop. All right, so we have the flames, of course. <laughs> we have the scythe. We have the bouquet. We'll get one more. We have the snake, of course. Okay, so it feels like what I was just saying, like you guys are always around for when they're accomplishing things. When these people, they feel like why they love you is because when they are at their happiest, it's when you're around. It's when you are able to reap the benefits of their life with them. You know, it's one of those things where you know, why be successful if all you have is your success and nobody to share it with? And like, you're the kind of person that people want to share the success with. I feel like you are not guarded in the same ways that other people are. You're actually really open um, to this person. And you guys, like I said, there's just like this trust. I think that you guys have an innate trust um, that other people haven't you know, given this person that same feeling. I think a lot of people just kind of make this person feel on edge, but you guys are meant to be learning this lesson together for whatever reason. With this snake here at the um, end of the reading with the world and the four of pentacles, this for whatever reason tells me that you guys both have to overcome this feeling of um, not being able to trust other people, but it's like you guys get each other in order to do that in a way. And to pull another card for that, we have the coffin. Interesting. Hold on. What is going on here? And the clover. Yeah, I feel like you guys have just been through some really hard times together and you're meant to like ascend these things together you know that's another soul contract thing is learning lessons together sometimes these are going going to be like outside lessons sometimes these are within your relationship but you know bringing each other back to that childlike state is honestly where this relationship is rooted at and so I feel like no matter what kind of things you guys go through together because I mean with the coffin and the snake here I mean this obviously shows me like some kind of bad energy but at the same time, it's like maybe you go through death. Maybe you've gone through like bullying or something together. You know, really hard things. Just, you know, people not being on your side. You guys have gone through that together and have stayed together, I feel like. This, um, the clover here. So I feel like you guys are able to offer each other kind of what you really need in each moment because of this past life connection um, and soul bond. And I think that it's, it's honestly really cute because no matter what happens to you guys, you're able to really like fight through it and see the value in fighting through it too. Um, and that's the soul, the soul connection. I hate to like break, like blame everything on the soul connection, but it really like helps you guys just see each other clearly. And it fuels this, um, it fuels this relationship truly with this fire here. And we also have the fish. Yeah, I feel like you guys have just been through a lot with this person and you've been through it like together, you know, with the fish here. It's like, I feel like a lot of other people in this person's life have been kind of elusive or just hard to really trust, you know, back of the deck is being the, the dog that really is telling to me, you know, they, they like your loyalty. They like the fact that you're able to withstand the test of time. Um, and your friendship is as well. Like no matter what happens to you, you guys are able to come back together. And even, you know, I say friends and it doesn't even have to be friends. Like this is just the relationship of being friendly. And I feel like even the best romantic relationships are rooted in a friendship. And I feel like you guys have this inner child sort of connection that is just like that and it really like I said allows you guys to get through really tough things and learn some really tough things that just really help you guys evolve and turn into your best self yeah so now we have the moon on the back so this is the kind of success that you guys are able to uncover through looking into yourselves and it's just so much easier I feel like for you guys to do this together and break through these things together and this person really loves it about you honestly it brings them a new sense of peace and clarity and fulfillment honestly fifth house is like your joy as much as it is your inner child so I feel like this is a really fulfilling relationship to them because it shows them so much about themselves and really what they're able to do and with the ascendant here with the scythe it's like yeah, like what they're able to do. Um, this is like you're reaping what you sow, but then with the ascendant here, it's like you're able to really acknowledge that now and acknowledge how far you've come because you're able to do it with another person who can perceive it, you know? They can perceive how far you've come and how you've grown and the magic within you too, you know? It doesn't 
uh, it doesn't ever lose its touch because it's always there, I think, in this relationship. And that's something this person really likes about you. The bouquet here, too, um, gives me this feeling that you guys are really open about showing each other affection and sharing, um, like I was saying, like almost these insights into this new, uh, into like the answer, I feel like, for each other. You know, like you have this answer, a new insight to provide to help each other learn each other's lessons because you're like in this together. Um, it's like really like teammate energy and like, you know, you partner up to kind of bounce ideas off of each other. And then we have Jupiter as well. And then we have Capricorn and Sextile. Yeah, you guys provide each other with exactly the kind of things that you need to expand your mindset and honestly where you're going. With Capricorn here, this is like your overall structure in life which is repeated here too with the world so I feel like you guys are able to really guide each other into the best possible path for yourself honestly you guys show each other the right way to do things and through your own understanding deep understanding of each other I think this person just really loves it about you because it's just it's hard I think for this person to really let themselves be truly guided by the right things and the right people and because of that you know they may stay stuck in their ways they may protect what they're doing and just kind of show what they can and you know take the opportunities they can but I feel like you guys know how to give them new opportunities with these um you know little hints and mindset shifts that you provide them with and consequently I feel like they provide you with too because this is like a two-way street relationship it feels to have like a really even um energy to it so I feel like you guys often are able to like I said transcend where you're coming from in your mindsets mainly but just also your spirits you know you're able to kind of <laughs> it's funny I keep seeing like two little astral spirits like flying around together so I really feel like you guys are just partners in crime in this lifetime and you're able to find out where you're going and, you know, do actually the work to get there with each other, you know. While I'm not a huge twin flame person, I definitely can see the benefit of being able to match with another person that you vibe with so deeply and work with them to go about life and figure out things because it's just it's so much easier to utilize the help that we have in this world and you know why have it otherwise if you're not going to use it so I feel like this is kind of where this person comes from they see you providing them not only with opportunities to grow and expand and evolve but you're just a really great person to collaborate with to get involved with and share energy with because you get them on a soul level and that is just very it's a rare connection to have as much as we you know think about it I remember how many times that I was searching for that when I felt like I didn't have it in my life at all. And I just, it, it takes time to find things like this, you know? It's not every person you meet that fits these kind of credentials. And I feel like this person knows that about you. And that's what they love about you is that they know how special this relationship is. They know how much you mean to them and they see you almost as like your inner child more than anything. And that's what makes this relationship so good and so pure and so just focused on your best selves and kind of doing this whole thing together, which, which honestly to me is beautiful. So group two, I hope this message resonated for you guys. And if it did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you would like future messages from me as I love to give them to you. But if you would like extra pick a card readings from me or personal reading, check out my links below to Instagram and Patreon. But I'm gonna skedaddle, so I hope to see you guys in a later video. Peace. Hello group three, let's get started with today's tarot card reading all about why do they love you. So, laying down your cards, we have Guiding Children, Sagittarius, Pisces, Four of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and two of wands in reverse. So getting started with the guiding children and then Sagittarius Pisces, this feels like you guys are open to life and you never really closed off, I think, to the magic of life. And this is what makes you magical, I think. What makes this person love you is just this ability and this innocence you have to connect with 
a higher state of being and it's not so much like you try to do this I feel like you're just naturally somebody who has always kept faith in life and kept faith in the unknown and things that you just really weren't you weren't certain of you just you kept the faith almost in that childlike essence and because of this you've almost I think helped other people come out of their shell and come out of a state that wasn't trusting and wasn't certain about things themselves. You know, I feel like you guys may attract oftentimes um, harder people, just people who have a harder shell and are just harder to get to know. I think people that just are more reserved and serious um, because you almost mirror them in a weird way of being so much more soft but firm in that softness, you know, and a lot of the times people that are, you know, externally hard, they're internally soft and they have a, you know, more of a teddy bear presence than what they may let on. And I feel like this is kind of like the duality of your guys' relationship. Um, and this person really just likes that you, you have that inner belief and that you're, I, like I said, you're just magical, honestly, to this person. They think that you show them a side of life that they just, I don't know, I don't think that they would have looked back at to see for themselves but with the four of cups here that to me is kind of what I was talking about is looking is like pulling back to be able to see like what actually works for you and what doesn't um but you know I feel like you may have a family with this person we have a couple cards indicating that so if that's the case this person does feel like you're a good parent and you're just a very nurturing mother or father you know it doesn't matter you just you take on a role of someone who is both the the nurturer and the you know receiver of the love. I feel like you guys are very receptive to your child's love, to their play, to their imagination. And this this is very beautiful, I think, to this person. And even if you know you don't have kids, and this is just you maybe interacting with children or interacting with other people in that way that you know brings out this more imaginative loving softer side to people i think this person really really loves that about you um because it takes them out of that place you know they're able to make the decision now that they um were probably putting off i feel like and i think whatever that is it just comes down to having faith in something that they aren't sure of and like i said that's a quality that you're just you're very able to do and i think this person just they really like that about you so i'm gonna pull you guys some more astro cards and then we have another deck as well that we'll try out but let's see we have first house as well as gemini interesting a lot of mutable energy coming up so um all we're missing is virgo but i could totally see virgo being present in this energy but you guys are able to change people's minds i think you're able to show people a new way to be um and show them you know how to be themselves a little bit more too because like i was saying that innocent energy imaginative energy like people get so serious and stuck in like who they think they need to be but like gemini pisces sagittarius they all know that they're like no i can be whoever i want to be whenever i want to be it and i feel like you you show people this kind of energy um and that they're able to do that and it's not a problem and you know, being able to spice up their life too is something I feel like you can do as well with that energy of mutable. It's like, you know, you provide them with kind of these really interesting wake up calls that give people the nice information to shift on to the next thing. And that is a really, I don't know, it's a very helpful thing that I don't even think you realize how much you do. Like you just kind of give people your two cents about things and just kind of move on. And I think, you know, that's not, that works actually well for you because I feel like that gives you time to focus on things that really matter, which is, you know, the things that you, you want to bring into fruition. But with the moon here, we have the ship. We have the star, interesting, and the dog. So you guys are definitely meant for success. And look at how many moons we have here. You guys are really intuitive nurturers. You have a very loving sense of living, I think. Like you just know how to live and nurture at the same time. No matter what you're doing, no matter how you interact or who you're interacting with, you are very kind and giving to the environment in a way that is, it's like intuitive, you know, like you know what it needs and you're going to um, provide that. And with Sagittarius here in Pisces too, um, that's like Jupiter influence. So 
I just feel like you guys know how to really shoot for the stars for things and go after the bigger things in life, you know? Like, you're not somebody that's, like, stuck at a 9 to 5. Um, and even if you are, like, you know, that's not where your mind is. Like, your mind is somewhere else. You're always um, maybe learning new things. I mean, you're, you're on a tarot pick-a-card reading, so clearly you are out there a little bit. And I think you guys really... Um, you know, push yourselves to believe in things, in the more magical things in this world. And this person really likes that about you because you don't need to see things to believe in them. You believe in them to see them. You know, the lovely Polar Express quote. <laughs> but I think that brings you guys a lot of really honest support. And that's coming from this person indefinitely. I feel like with the, the dog here, this person really just trust you trust just came out I wasn't gonna say that but it said trust you they trust you a lot and they believe in you they think that you are somebody that is going to get whatever you set out for and they want to be behind you on it because they they just believe in you honestly and with the star here you know that's the esoteric energy again but it's also this energy of like fate and destiny and you know hopes dreams ideals that sort of thing and like I feel like you guys almost know your destiny and are so intuitively guided to it that this person just they don't even know how you do it but they're so they're still open to it you know like they want to learn about it um I think just kind of through watching you do it which is kind of cute honestly I think this person is a little bit you know what they see in you, um, they feel like they're not, you know, they don't think that they have really that good faith in things enough to go into them like you do, but like you, you do it regardless and they love you for it. They love the way that you're able to go deeper into life and, you know, give your energy away to things that, like I said, like you aren't certain of, but you know is worth it. You know, this is a very spiritual pile is what I'm getting. Like you guys are definitely my people that use crystals and tarot cards and are interested in astral travel you know like all sorts of things like you guys are really involved in the higher realms of thinking and of being while simultaneously like being able to ground that like I said with like this this child energy guiding children this is like you're able to bring that energy and be that pillar of light um that like I said brings other people to that place of being able to create things from their own intuition but you know people don't know that that's a thing you can do until they see it done and I feel like you, that's what you do and they love it with the ten of pentacles and the nine of wands this is like almost being overworked but not letting that get you down like you you handle stress very well and I think this person really likes that about you you're like a really good like you're a homemaker you know you make things like seem worth it and everybody seem included for some reason I, is that's coming up and I feel like no matter what you've got going on you don't let that get you down and this person really likes that about you because there's something so strong in you and like even I feel like you come off a little scattered and like like you don't really know what's going on and you're just kind of you know like you have that loving energy that you're like oh ha, like he, he like give my love everywhere but then it's like at the same time you you know what you're doing and this is honestly kind of like a reoccurring theme that I'm seeing with my readings right now is like you just you know what you're doing and because you do that like people really like it they like that you just you care about what you're doing you care about where you're coming from and you care about you know why things are the way they are I think you guys just have a mind that is focused on the higher things like focusing on the higher self or religion spirituality that kind of stuff um things that other people you know may be too busy to look at or you know not feel comfortable enough to look into on their own because they don't feel like they're coming from a good enough place but like you guys have this weird courage about you know being able to travel and transcend certain limits that other people get afraid of. But this person, I think they love you so much because they're they're behind you on that. They see that as such a positive quality that you have that they just they can't they can't get this anywhere else. And they, they want to follow your lead basically and see where it takes them because they know that you are destined for success by what you do and it shows in every Everything that you've taught them that all of a sudden has come true, you know, like I feel like you're the type of people that you taught this person about law of attraction and then you're like, look at I can manifest stuff and they're like, okay, and then all of a sudden you're like, look at all this free stuff I got and they were like, wait, what? Like you just, you just told me you're going to manifest that. Like they get all confused about, it, you know, like they believe in you, but like they don't, they have to see to believe and I feel like you don't have to do that. So they really like that about you because it's, it's so different than them, but it shows them that like 
it's okay to do that. Like people, like you exist, you know, the magic, the magic in this world exists basically. And you can show people that. Oh, this is really cute. Honestly, I want to pull you guys another Oracle card. Um, just because I always seem to get that guiding children card too. But let's see what else we got. Why does this person, why does this person love group three? We have receptivity, independent, and bold. Interesting how all of these are gold like that because not all the cards are that color. Yeah, so you're not afraid to go off on your own path and do your own thing and honestly be honest about it. Like you share, you share what you're doing with other people and you're not worried about them judging you really. I feel like that's not even on your you know, radar for the most part because you're just, you're doing it because you know that's what you have to do. Like when you have this faith in spirituality and you come from this place that like has a trust in this higher mind like you're able to just do things with such a confidence because you're you're rooted in something so strong and I feel like that allows you to not only receive the kind of information you need to continue to grow and to continue to be the better person in every situation and just you know shine more of this magic into this world it's also being able to grow into that energy and start utilizing it for bigger and better things too i feel like this person really feels like you are a successful person and i don't think they mean that in like any kind of bad way like this is why they love you so they feel like you are somebody that is successful that you know how to make something small you know you take in that information and you make it into something you're going to go wherever you need to go and you don't let other people um or any traditions really stop you and you'll you'll fight for it honestly with this bold here you will fight to be seen and heard appropriately and for what you're actually trying to deliver to other people you know with this pisces gemini sagittarius like you really want to share a message that is purposeful to the development of to the overall psyche in the different layers of it you know starting with the perception going to this higher mind and having faith all the way to this faith in the unknown into this world into the all of the you know crazy things that can happen in you know pisces energy i feel like because gemini sagittarius still say it's like planet on earth but i feel like once you get into that pisces energy it's like it's really overwhelming, I think, for this person, but like not for you. And you have showed them how not, I think, taboo this is, you know, even though it is very taboo to most people, you're so confident in it. You are so willing to share this kind of side of life with this person that I think they just, they love you so much for it. They can't help but believe in it and really just trust you, honestly. Like you're gonna, <laughs> like I said, they're going to follow the leader and they are loyal to the end. And it's because they see you as being so multifaceted in such a well-rounded way, a well-learned way. You're very educated in the things that you, you know, do and say whatnot. You are you're somebody that they trust and because of that they love you so much they literally find your innocence yet ability to transcend and believe in things to be one of the most captivating and absolutely admirable qualities of you so group three i hope this message resonated for you guys and if it did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel so you can get future intuitively channel messages but if you'd like extra pick a card readings from me or personal readings check out my instagram and patreon link down below as always but i'm gonna skedaddle so I hope to see you guys in a later video. Peace.